Happy Friday, everyone. Hope you all have had a good week. Uh, wanted to go live today with my five on Friday and hopefully something I say will help to encourage you. So anyways, um, hope you all had a happy fourth. It is a beautiful day here. Um, wanted to start with a tour of my garden. Um, we got the yard cleaned up this week. Looks much better. If you looked at last week's video, you saw the patio was full of weeds, which was horrible. Um, but it's looking so nice. Uh, my lawn guy came, my yard guy came, he did a great job. Um, and the zinnias are popping. Um, the ones with the seeds are coming up. You see they're getting ready to open and everything is starting to bloom really well. The cosmos are getting ready to open over here. You see this guy right here? It's getting ready to open, so that's great. Uh, sunflowers are popping, still popping. Um, we did end up having a casualty over here. This guy fell over. You can see he's not looking so great, but I'm hoping he's gonna come back. Uh, he trimmed up the blackberry bush, so it's looking good. And cleaned all that up. And you can see he cleaned everything up, so it's looking like so nice. Um, this bed is filling up nicely too. Um, just waiting for more surprises um more of these things to open but i don't really know what they are um, the red dahlias are doing great and my little plant over here is doing good and i made my first bouquet this week i was going to take it to a lady who's going to have surgery today was having surgery today and unfortunately we didn't get it to her in time so it looked way better on um it's not looking so good right now, but when I put it together the other day, it looked really nice. So I'm going to redo it, but that was my first one. So I'm going to start Project Joy again, and hopefully I can help um, bless some more people that are struggling with these flowers. So anyways, that's that. Let me know how your guys' garden is doing. We'd love to hear. Um, moving on to my mom. Went and saw her on Monday. She was doing pretty good. Um, we, um, well, actually the hospice nurse called Monday morning and said she was quite confused, but was actually telling her that my father had a girlfriend. So that was a new one. I never heard that one before. Um, and she said she just didn't know what to say. <laughs> so when we went to see her, my daughter asked her, she was like, how's Papa? And she said, oh, he's fine, alive and well. But she didn't say anything about his girlfriend. So that was interesting. So anyways, the question of the day was, um, if you could have any talent or skill, what would it be? And she, I had to give her um, a bunch of options. She couldn't come up with anything. And so I asked her if she wanted to be a gymnast because she used to, well, she still does, but she loves the Olympics. She loves to watch gymnastics and um, in the summer and swimming. And she likes to watch um, skating in the winter but anyways i said what happened to gymnast and she said oh yes i want to be a gym would like to be a gym have liked to have been a gymnast so we talked about that and then at the very end of the conversation i just wanted to make sure she was still good with that and then she changed her mind <laughs> so anyways check that out with mondays with mom um from monday and then um my friend andrea from fallen sparrow is going to see her today she's going to do visits weekly visits with her and it'll be a way for me to uh, spend down some more of that money. So I feel good about that. If you guys need um, spiritual care, check her out. I'll put the link in the description or visits for your loved ones. She's amazing. Um, and then moving on to three, the fireworks last night. Oh my God, so horrible. The dogs were terrible. It went on until almost three o'clock in the morning. It was awful. It sounded like a war zone. Um, tried everything to try and keep them calm, but it's just, it's so sad. I don't even know what that noise is, but hopefully it will go away. Um, but how did your guys' animals do? I hope they did okay. Um, it's just so hard to see them like that. I mean, I did give them the treats that I did the video for, the calming treats, and they did help some. So um, check those out if you want. Um, so hopefully they're going to run out soon and we will be done with this. Um, moving on to for my Etsy shop. Um, I think I finally got a domain. I spent hours on that. 
the other day. Um, I ended up having to do a .net instead of a .com, and I really hope that that's not going to make things not or it's going to make things bad. Um, but I couldn't keep Party Decor and More without changing something, and I didn't want to change the name. So hopefully, we're moving forward with the website. Um, in the meantime, the printer. My new printer has run out of ink. The ink I bought for it, it was the wrong kind and I can't get any more till tomorrow. And of course, um, sales have picked up a little, which is good, but what's selling is paper goods. <laughs> I mean, how is that possible? It's like, God gives me the business, but then I have a roadblock now on trying to make the items because of the whole printer debacle. So please say a prayer that it is the right ink that I ordered and it gets here quickly and I can finish those orders. I also did, um, last minute yesterday, I did a little reel for something called Little Spoon. We'd gone to Farmer's Market last Sunday and they had some free samples of this and I had seen it um, on kale as a possible um, thing to do and I, so I decided to do it at the last minute, but it's not doing very well. I don't know if it's because I posted it on a holiday, but if you guys get a chance and you could just give it some views or some love or something just to get it up there, that'd be great and hopefully kale will accept it. I get paid for it. So that's that. Um, and I'm still not motivated right now to try and get that other stuff out to the boutiques, but I'm hoping I can get some motivation soon and do that. <laughs> In the meantime, um, today is day 273. The hostages are still in Gaza. I heard that, I think I heard that um, Hamas has accepted the proposal, which would be amazing. Um, let's just please say a prayer that that can be true and that the rest of the hostages can be released and we can end this horrible, awful war. Um, also, let's say a prayer for um, uh, stop the war in Ukraine, stop LGBTQI hate, anti-Semitism and gun violence. Um, and please, God, please help find somebody decent to run this country. Um, uh, also say a prayer for Josh. He's going to be having to have surgery soon. Uh, my friend Jonna and then my friend Pat, like I said, who's having surgery today. Um, Tom from the church as well is and her husband on Instagram. And I just wanted to end, um, with our prayer for peace because, you know, we could all use some of that. Uh, so anyways, it goes, Lord of peace, divine ruler, to whom peace belongs, master of peace, creator of all things, may it be thy will to put an end to war and bloodshed on earth and to spread a great and wonderful peace over the whole world so that the nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. Amen. So I hope something I said was an encouragement to you. If you need a prayer, let me know. And I hope you all have a good weekend.